All right, so today what we're going to look at is two great ways or two different variations to work the core and shoulder stability at the same time. Um, one is in a, again, is a bare position and the other is in a plank position. The plank position that we'll use, we're actually going to use the wall. Uh, may be a little bit more difficult, so you may not want to advance to that if you're not ready for it. But the first one we'll look at is in the bear position, and it's just simply, again, bear position. We're just going to shoulder tap and add in some rotation. Again, working on some shoulder stability, great core strength. So we know that the bear position, you're just going to line up where the knees are underneath the hips, hands are underneath the shoulders. So I'm just, and I'm just going to clear my knees off the floor far enough to get them off. And all I'm going to do is go, go to one shoulder with a hand. So I'll go to one shoulder, and then I'm going to rotate open from there. Now, if you want to add in a little bridge and reach, that'd be great. Come back to that shoulder and then you rotate back. But if you want to just stay here, rotate through and back. Great shoulder stability work, great core work as we're doing it. Tummy's tight, I'm in that bear position. I'm not hiking up when I come back. I'm not doing it really elevated. I'm staying close to the ground and, doing that and getting in that rotation. If you want to alternate sides each time, you can, you can go opposite shoulder rotate through, rotate back, come to shoulder, rotate through. Again, if you want to add in some hip extension there and coming back. So that's a great way to work the, uh, work the core and shoulder at the same time. The next will be in a plank position. Again, I'm going to use the wall and I'm going to walk from the floor up to the wall with both hands. Again, trying to keep that nice tall plank position. So tummy's tight, pulling that belly button into the spine, squeeze the glutes, tighten those and then you're just going to walk up to the wall. So I'm here, up to the wall, and then I'm just going to reverse that. Great core work, great shoulder stability, up and down. So two different variations, two great ways to work the core. You can do them as a combo, uh, you can do them individually. Again, do not advance to that plank on the wall until you feel like you're ready. If you're not ready to completely walk up on that wall, again, you can always do that variation of a little bird dog where we're just getting that extension in there or doing opposite extensions there but when you're ready you can go elevated where you come up on that wall so two different ways to work the core and shoulder today try it out see what you think the video is always here on facebook youtube channel check your newsletter it'll be there